Behind it are the production buildings of the Royal Porcelain Manufactory, known in German as KPM. Founded in 1751 by the Swiss entrepreneur Wegeli, it is one of the most traditional establishments of the city. In 1763, it was taken over by Frederick the Great, who gave it its name, as well as the Royal Blue Scepter emblem by which it is recognized worldwide. Frederick also provided a shade of blue which became known in KPM history as Blue Mouron, or Dying. With Frederick's help, KPM was also able to successfully manufacture high quality and painted classic porcelain pieces are still made here to this day and sold throughout the world. On the right of the book, we are now coming to the Hansel Quarter. The name comes from the fact that in the 14th century, Berlin belonged to the Hanseatic League. In the early 20th century, it was an upscale residential area housing many of Berlin's Jewish residents. During World War II, not only was most of it destroyed, but it also lost a significant amount of its inhabitants. On the Levetzovstrasse, the left extension of the Hansa Bridge, at the site of the former synagogue, was one of two main deportation centers for Berlin's Jewish population. The quarter was reconstructed in 1957 as part of an architectural competition known as the Interbau. Walter Grobius, of Bauhaus fame, was among the impressive list of architects responsible for the current design. <laughs> Steinbau des Menzelgymnasiums. Ein ganz anderer Stil findet sich in der benachbarten Hansa-Grundschule. Das Großfläche